Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here, and uh, as a part of today's session, we will learn what is the severity and the priority in software testing, and then I will tell you the frequently asked questions with respect to severity and priority. Okay, so even if you are a fresher or having the experience between one to five years. Then you will surely encounter few questions with respect to severity or the priority in any interview process. Okay, so let's start. So let's try to understand the things in theoretical way. So first, let's talk about the severity. Severity is impact of defect on the application, and for every defect, severity should be logged. The severity can be categorized in the following way, right? So basically, we can define the severity as a critical, major, or the minor. So first, say like when we can define the severity critical, or we can say S one. So let's consider that we have received an application for the testing, and its core features are not working at all. So in that case, we should log the defect. As the S one, which means we cannot perform any kind of testing on that application, so that becomes the blocker from the QA side, and it is reported as the S one. Second comes as the major. So major means QA is able to perform the testing on that application, but there are certain features or functionalities which are not working. And uh, it is quite possible that with help of certain workaround, we can test those features. In that case, those defect are reported as major or S two, right? Third is the minor, so which means the functionality which is not impacting much in the testing, and uh, we can live with that kind of defects for uh, some time being. So that kind of defect are reported as the S three. So now let's talk about the priority. So basically, priority defines the impact of defect on the customer's business. So depending on its impact, those defects needs to be fixed. Okay. So that is the concept behind the priority. So priority can be categorized in three ways. First, it is high. Second, is the medium. And third is the low. So now let's see like what kind of defect comes under the even priority. Okay. So functionality that is critical to customer's business and it is not working, which means like application cannot be used until that kind of issues are fixed. So such kind of defect are defined as the high priority and that needs to be fixed immediately. Okay. Now coming to the medium priority, so again, like the these are the functionalities which are working with some workaround, okay? So that are not impacting the customer's business much. So that are categorized as the P two. And uh, coming to the P three priority, so basically they have the less impact on the customer's business, and the for time beings we can continue with that, but they will be fixed. In the coming time, for sure. Okay, so I hope like you are able to connect things like what is the severity and what is the priority. So let's see like what are the different questions generally people ask during the interview. Okay. So first is like who assigns the severity of the defect. So severity is always assigned by the QA who has reported that defect. Sometimes it happens like your senior team members review that defect, so they can change the severity as per their business understanding. Second question is like, who is the responsible for assigning priority to defects? Most of time we are working uh, in agile process. Okay, we are following the agile in the various organization nowadays. So the priority is getting defined by the Product owner in the most of the cases, but yes, sometimes QA person who are the senior one, they can also define the priority if they have the clear understanding of the business. 
Now this is very important. Give an example of the high pedality and high severity. Okay. So I will try to explain these questions with the help of this website. So first let's understand like what does it mean by the high pedality and high severity. Assume like when I hit this URL, so URL is not working at all. So as URL is not working at all, which means like you cannot do anything. So it is quite possible like the build is not deployed properly or the server is not up and running. So there can be n number of reasons. So such kind of issues comes under the high priority and high severity. So now let's talk about like what is the low priority and high severity. So this is uh, quite interesting. So it says like the priority is low, but the severity is very high. So here you can see like it is a registration screen and a new user can complete the registration process from this screen. As a part of registration, he needs to provide the first name and last name, right? So let's consider that if there is a user and who enters a very long first name. So let's consider that he enters the uh, 50 characters as his first name. And when he try to just click on this register button, so your application gets crashed. So such kind of defect will fall inside this low priority and high severity. Because the reason is like no one will have his first name as a 50 characters long. Although it is impacting the system very badly because your application gets crashed. But the possibility is very low. So that's why its severity is very high but its priority is very low. Let's move to our third point. So third point says like high priority and low severity. So its priority is very high but its severity is very low. Means like it is not impacting much, but still we need to fix on the priority. Okay, so let's say like so. This is the logo uh, of no commerce website. So let's say like they have uh, misplaced this logo. Okay, so they are using some wrong logo here, or they are misspelled this name itself. So such kind of defect comes under the high priority and the low severity. Because like it is not impacting your functionality, like you can still log in into this application, you can perform the different kind of operations. It is just merely a events or the logo. But the such kind of defect will bring the bad image for the organization. So it's very necessary that uh, such kind of defect gets fixed on a priority. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about this last one. So last option says low priority and the low severity so low priority means like such kind of defects are very low in the priority as well as like there is no need to fix those kind of defects immediately so let's consider that when user clicks on this block okay and uh, here there are certain spell mistakes so such kind of defects will be fall inside this low priority and low severity because uh, it is not a very frequently used feature okay so it is not expected that user will come to this blog section and they will read the content okay inside this blog so that's why it will fall inside this low priority and the low severity okay friends so that's all for the today's session i hope it helps please let me know in the comments uh, like if i need to cover any more topic which are important from the interview point of view so I will cover those points in the upcoming time. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you so much.